Hey everybody, working on the old John Deere 648H. Uh, skidder driver was running it and stalled it, trying to pull this drag up the hill and it wouldn't fire back, turn over, but just wouldn't fire. Um, and we got a code of 157.17 and called our dealer and uh, told me some things to check to troubleshoot it. And this is your fuel rail, and there is a pressure relief valve in there. I guess if the fuel pressure gets too high, it can go out this line, and this line goes up to that T and returns back to the tank. And uh, we've had, we had some trouble the other day with the, the fuel line blowing, and that's just what we had, so we put this on. So I don't know what all uh, this return line was stopped up somewhere between here and the tank. So I don't know if that had anything to do with this going out, but he said, the dealer said that this is a fuel uh, regulator solenoid, I believe. And if, if, if it goes out, it can take this pressure relief uh, valve out. So I guess they kind of go hand in hand. Um, and yesterday I was looking around trying to find what, it's wrong and there was some nasty wires on here so i got them fixed up cleaned up so i don't know if they could have shorted out and caused that fuel solenoid to go out or not but got a new solenoid and a new uh relief so i want to put them in there and try it see if that gets us going um one way to check if your relief is bad is just like i did here i just took this line off of the t up there and just pull it out to the side here and and when you turn it over if there's fuel coming out then you know your relief's bad um so yeah i had i had a lot of fuel coming out just turning over the engine without it running because it won't start but so we'll get changed out see if that fixes our problem These are five millimeter uh, Allen wrench takes these little screws out, bolts, whatever. And that's that. The new one comes in a deal with new bolts and new o-ring here. Change that out. So let me set this down. Okay. Put this one in. I'll just get these uh, bolts started. <clears throat> And then uh, slowly work it in because it kind of goes in hard with that o ring. A couple turns on the bottom and a couple turns on the top. I'll get it worked in there.
I'll just take this here uh, line off that goes back down to the return so I can screw that relief out. So I'm going to take this little 90 out of top. And maybe I can get this wrench over that. Or I can use a, another wrench to pry with. <clears throat> Okay, so I got it back <clears throat> back in and uh, I've just got to put the line on it and hook it back over there. Um, but these lines have a rubber seal in them. I've got some new ones. I need to change those. All right, I'll put this steel line back on. For the return, 